to play this game? Anybody? Anybody like to... Yes? You want to play? OK. Well, you, your hand was first up. How are you? Come on over. Come this way, come this way. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you from? Ivory Monroe, Louisiana. Ivory Monroe. Louisiana's not your last name. You just no. said it as oh, one. OK. Ivory Monroe from Louisiana. Ivory Ambers. From... Ivory Ambers. Yes. From Monroe, Monroe Louisiana. Louisiana. Wow. Yeah. Ivory, we made that a lot harder than it ever needed to be. <laughs> so, what brings you to Los Angeles today? It's our anniversary. Whose anniversary? Me and my husband. Oh! <laughs> how, many, how long have you been married? It's three, but it feels like ten. <laughs> <laughs> you've been married three years, and you've come to Los Angeles, yeah. and you've come to the show tonight. What's your name, sir? Jim. Jim, congratulations. Hi. Congratulations <laughs> to the pair of you. So, it's just you two? Just you yeah, two? My aunt, my beautiful aunt. You brought your aunt to celebrate your anniversary? <laughs> yes. My Uncle Mark would have came, but he was sick, so... Wow. Having a great time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You are... He is loving it. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, baby, let's go away and celebrate our anniversary. Yeah, let's take my aunt as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my aunt. Oh, who doesn't love your aunt? <laughs> I love your aunt. She gave me all of my energy during the monologue. Yes, all came from that's you. That's my life, man. All came from you. <laughs> so what other plans have you got? What other plans have you got while you're here? Well, we're leaving tomorrow. So. You leave tomorrow. So what are you, what are you going to do tonight? Go home and pack. <laughs> you are not going to go home and pack on your own. Do you know what we're going to do? It's your anniversary. So the three of you, and now your uncle will really be disappointed, you could go out for dinner on me. We're going to book you a restaurant <laughs> and celebrate. Yeah? We'll do this. I mean, come on. Yeah! This guy, look. Oh it's the least we can do. This guy has already had the worst anniversary <laughs> in the history of anniversaries. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> All right, OK. So we'll figure that out. You'll have a see, sir. We'll figure this out, OK? So we'll take care of that during the show. All right, so here's how this works. I'm going to show you the beginning of a clip, OK? And then you have to guess how this clip ends, OK? okay? okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. We first go all the way to Russia's Match TV, where one of their reporters is giving us a stats report on an upcoming game. Take a look. Кристиан Бистрович, я сейчас прямо стану мокрым, потому что поле начинает поливать. Okay, so he's on the field doing his thing, but what obstacle is he about to compete with? Is it A, the national anthem starts playing, B, a ball gets kicked in his face, C, a streaker crashes his report, or D, none of the above? I want to go with the streaker. You're going to go with the streaker? Yeah. C? Ivory, the always... game is called none of the above. Oh. <laughs> I, we can't make it any easier than that. I mean, do you want a second? Do you want a second guess? Yes. What do you reckon? Um, none above. You think it's D, none of the above? Let's find out. Поэтому буду говорить максимально быстро, Илья Помазун, я становлюсь еще мокрее и мокрее. Ну и продолжаем. Красота. Ну вот, все равно продолжаю свой эфир. В общем, сложно будет ССК. I mean, you've heard of fake news. That was spray news. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. We'll figure that out in the break. All right, have a seat. Thank you for being here. Who else would like to play? <laughs> okay. 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 I mean, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> No one has you. ever gone that crazy oh, at the prospect of playing true. none of the above. That's How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Aaron Hoffman. I'm from New Jersey. Hi, Aaron from New Jersey. Hi. What brings you to Los Angeles? Um, I go to school in San Diego, but this girl right here got us tickets. Oh, so wow. Here. Well, this here, look at this girl band that we're forming tonight. <laughs> look, look, it is. We got, we, got, we got Baby Spice, Posh Spice, Sporty Spice, Ginger Spice. The whole thing's happening. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play this game. How do you fancy your chances? Good? No. Okay, well, let's have a look. 
We now go to Springfield, Missouri, where KY3 anchor Lisa Rose is doing a report on a recent bomb scare. Have a look. Scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. So a man told a customer at a Home Depot that there was a bomb in the building. But what happened next? Was it A, the man was arrested? B, customers caused a stampede trying to exit? C, the man bought a new washer dryer? Or D, none of the above? What do you think? Which do you reckon? Uh, B. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to. Say. I feel. I. I mean. Can I change my answer? Can you change your answer? Why? Why is the answer D? I just switched them up. Did you? Is it because the game's called None of the Above, and I just said that? I just, I got confused. It's D. I get it. You've gone with D. Let's find out. Man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. Man also told police others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Journalism's gone down the toilet. Thank you for playing. You're terrific. Have a seat. Anyone else like to play? I got you. Come on. Come on out here. Come on out here. How are you doing? Uncle What's James. your name? Where are you from? I'm James. I'm from Liverpool. You're from Liverpool? In England, yeah. And what do you do for a living back in Liverpool? Uh, I work for a bank. Which bank? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I just can't. Can you whisper it to me? Oh, Santander. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you reckon you've got a chance at getting this right? I think so, yeah. Let's find out. We're going to go now to ABC7 here in LA where weatherman Danny Romero is doing a promo for his upcoming weather report. Have a look. Good morning, 5.39. We are approaching sunrise. Will it be a hot day? I'll tell you with a live Mega Doppler 7000 HD seven-day forecast in just a bit. Right now, Alicia Del Valle tells you about traffic. OK, so Danny just threw to his co-anchor, uh, Alicia, but how does she start off her traffic report? Is it A, mispronounces the name of a freeway, B, demands a raise from her cheap bosses, C, takes a shot of vodka, or D, none of the above? What do you reckon? D, none of the above. C! <laughs> is a British education. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if you're right. Right now, Alicia Del Valle tells you about traffic. Good morning, Daddy. Danny, happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. Enjoy the rest of the trip. I appreciate it. We're